Good morning. Let me get this first sip in. Good morning and welcome back to another week of training. This is a good week. Well, hopefully. All I can do is hope. But I have my Ironman 70.3 this coming weekend in Pennsylvania. It's the uh, Happy Valley one. So it's an exciting week. Last week, sorry I didn't upload. I was actually pretty sick last week. I didn't feel that great. So I didn't get in as much training as I would like. Really, I didn't get in like any training. Um, luckily, it is, well, it was an active recovery week anyway. So yeah, I just took the time to let my body rest and recover from being sick. Finally started feeling better this past weekend. So this is really a, a regular week of training. And then I'll have the half Ironman this weekend. And then, yeah, I'm about two or three weeks out from my full Ironman. But yesterday I had, I think it was like a 2,400 yard swim. And I tried to just do it continuously. Didn't really do any drills um, just to kind of prepare myself for the race this weekend. And then today I have, I think like an hour bike ride. So just gonna do a bike ride in the park. But yeah, it should be a good week. I leave Friday morning to go to Penn State. Yeah, so that race and everything about the race will be in this video. So I hope you guys enjoy this. And hopefully it ends up being a pretty good race on Sunday. It's supposed to be hot. Uh, it's going to be hilly. But it's going to be fun because I'm doing it with a friend. So yeah, let's have a good week. made it to the park so should be able to get about three laps in I would say on this ride again it's only an hour long so nothing too crazy really the goal is just to do a few of the small hills in the park get the legs filling it you know make sure they're primed and ready to go for this weekend I'm wearing my race tri suit but I just wanted to you know get a feel for it one more time and guys I'll be honest it's a little tight I don't know if maybe I can cut the sleeves on it and it will feel better because it's like tight around the armpit and I feel kind of constricted I'll be honest so maybe maybe I can cut the sleeves off of it but I just don't want to like mess it up either, so I don't know, I gotta think about it. Ride complete, basically an hour exactly, 59 minutes, 54 seconds. Oh, honestly felt pretty good there. My legs feel pretty good for race day, I will say. Thankfully, I mean, it's kind of hard to compare when I only did an hour there, but what was my distance actually? 18 miles. 18.3 miles. Yeah, I think I'm going to cut the sleeves on this. If I mess it up, I have another tri suit that I can wear, but it just gets tight around the armpits. And I can already picture like when I'm swimming, that not being good, and then just being really uncomfortable on the run. So maybe I'll try to mark it up to make sure I cut it right, but no promises. Good morning, happy hump day. Obviously that means it's Wednesday. I have a 52 minute run this morning. So nothing too crazy. Legs still good after yesterday. Just trying to stay fresh. It's only like 72 or 73 degrees too. So it feels nice outside. There's a little bit of cloud cover. So overall should be a good run this morning. I think I showed like two weeks ago how I got the spring energy gels, like the awesome sauce ones. And you know, the packaging says there's about 45 grams of carbs in each packet. And I got so many comments on that video about how wrong that information is that 
this guy, his name is Coop, I guess. Sorry if I'm getting it wrong for people who actually listen to him. That he did a test with their energy gels. And even though the packaging says 45 grams of carbs, in reality, it's about 18 grams of carbs per packet. Which is mind-blowing how you can even put that on a packet when it's that far off. I understand maybe a couple grams, but to be over 20 grams off, that's really bad. I mean... I bought a packet of like 24 of them, of course, before I knew. So I'm still gonna use them for this upcoming race. But instead of taking one gel, I'm just gonna take two at a time, I guess. But it's just mind blowing to me that they are able to get away with that. I mean, hopefully they're fixing things now because when athletes are training for, especially these long endurance events, a lot of times we break it down to a science on how many cards we need to take in per hour. And to be that far off, like they're really screwing over a lot of these athletes that have invested in putting money into their product. I don't know, it's just kind of frustrating to hear. I'm sure you guys feel the same way because they're actually really good, but they're so far off on what they are offering, which is bad. So needless to say, after I finish the ones I have, probably will not be ordering any more of those. But oh well, if you guys didn't know that, like I did before I bought them. Athlete, beware. About 2.6 miles in. Right now I'm at an 8, 10 mile pace. Let's finish out this bad boy. Oh, run complete, 52 minutes, 6.3 miles. Average pace was 8.13. Not too bad. I actually felt pretty good today. It's crazy how much the heat and the humidity really raises your heart rate. I was trying my best to keep it in zone two, well at least the top of zone two, but I kept pushing over into zone three for a lot of that run. My average heart rate was 155. So I guess it's not too bad because the threshold from zone two to zone three for me is 154. Actually not as bad as I thought it was. It felt worse though. Uh, overall good run. I honestly, I don't know what I have for a workout tomorrow. I still got to look on the schedule. Main thing is packing and getting ready for the race. I'll talk about tomorrow, like my nutrition plan and everything for the race. We are four days out from Happy Valley 70.3. Okay, so it is Thursday afternoon, about five o'clock, and so I'm packing for this weekend. We le I leave in the morning and riding with Mackenzie, which I will... You guys, I think you've seen her in a previous video. She did a half marathon with Barry a few months ago, but she's... Her and I are riding together to Penn State, and then we're meeting up with some of our other friends there. And we all got an Airbnb together, which is going to be fun. But first, I had to pack, so I think I have everything, but I basically packed my wetsuit shorts in here as long as well as my wetsuit. It's still up in the air whether or not it's gonna be wetsuit legal or not, so that will be a question. Obviously my running shoes, I packed my regular bag here. And then this is really all of my nutrition. In this bag, I have I have 10 of the spring, spring energy gels, kind of like what I chatted about, but again, even though it says, where is it at, 45 grams of carbs here, that is a lie. So that's that's awesome. You know, I'm, I'm really glad that they are on point with their marketing. Then I have some Advil. Obviously, this is a necessity. This is the O2 Gold that I had mentioned. I, I think I, I don't remember if I put the link in my description of my last video. And then I also packed some Martin chocolate bars that I'll probably eat on the bike. This is the Precision Fuel and Hydration drink uh, that I'll, I'm going to have two bottles on my bike. And then I'll have this one for the Aero bars. So I'll have three that's four. Three total. Sorry, I can't count, obviously. And uh, I'll have them f all filled with 60 grams of carbs and 1,000 milligrams of sodium. Got some sunscreen because my ass will probably get burnt out there. And then, yeah, that's really about it. And then I'm actually going to wear my black tri suit I decided, which is what I wore last year for my first half Ironman. I just feel more comfortable in it. And the Ironman um, foundation one, it's just too tight. I reached out to the people at the Ironman Foundation. I don't know if I'll be able to get another one in time for Lake Placid, but right now I think the most important thing is to make sure that I am comfortable over how it looks, if that makes sense. So especially when I'm going to be wearing it for hours on end. And of course, I have the bike here, which I have all ready to go. I cleaned it up. It was nasty from just riding outside. So I gave it a nice little clean shine. So it will be ready to go, but it won't look like that after the race. So. Anyways, that's, 
That's it. I hope. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. I feel like, you know, when you're always packing for stuff like this, especially for a triathlon, I feel like you need so much stuff that it's kind of hard to think about if you have everything you need. I tried to like write it out. I think I have everything, so fingers crossed. But if not, luckily, you know, there is the, the athlete village thing where you can go and buy a bunch of stuff, which who knows, maybe I'll buy something. We'll see how I'm feeling when I get there. But yeah, I'm now that I'm like packing, I'm actually like really excited for it. I'm pumped to kind of just get there and be in the environment, in the race environment. Everyone's getting excited for the race. This is when it like starts getting fun. So I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, that's about it. And then tomorrow morning, we will head to Pennsylvania. We are headed to Pennsylvania. I got Mackenzie here. You guys, I think you guys met her from Barry's half marathon a few months ago, actually. But she's a beast. She's done a few Ironmans. How many Ironmans have you done? Like Two. Full. Two full Two. Ironmans, but how many halves? Only one. Oh, only one? Yeah, only one. Oh, shit. So this is her second half. We got our bikes in the back. We were about probably three hours out. 2.40. Two hours and 40 minutes. Yeah. So. We are on the way, but we're getting hype. I'm freaking pumped. Now that we're like in the car, en route, I'm like ready to go. And this is actually kind of, it's kind of pretty. Here. Yeah, this is very I cool. hope this is like how the bike ride is gonna be. It's like actually yeah, a little all scenery. The all the hills, that's <laughs> that's what, I need the hills though for training, for like classic. Yeah, yeah look how pretty it is. Yeah, so just another two hours, 40 minutes or so, and we might head to the Athlete Village in a few. Also, follow Mackenzie on TikTok. Don't you have a triathlete oh, yes. TikTok? It's not a good one, but... Hey, we all got to stick somewhere. This channel's not that great Mac either. Mac Eats and Runs. Mac Mer Eats and Runs. We'll put your TikTok handle down in the description of the YouTube video. All right, They'll so... will be disappointed. We will see you guys in Pennsylvania. So I had to get one of these shirts. And I love that Iron Man switched to Lululemon. Some people may not like it, but Lululemon just lasts so long. So it's such great quality. See, so yeah, I got a, let me actually take this bag over here. I got a shirt, I got some caffeine gels, needed those. And then I'm gonna rock this headband on race day with some matching socks. I made the executive decision, so. All right, all checked in. Bid number 549, I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, I'm on my phone right now, I forgot my camera. Here's the t-shirt. It's actually a pretty nice backpack. We're gonna pack all this up. We're gonna keep going around like the Athletes Village area. There's the Penn State football stadium. It's pretty dope. It's actually pretty empty here right now, which is kind of nice. That's, we came, it's Friday. I'm sure tomorrow's gonna be a lot more hectic. So I'm happy that we came to kind of get this out of the way today. But yeah, it feels good to be here. It's getting exciting. Race day is almost here. And then I think after this, we'll probably go, we might go to where the swim is to test out the water, see how it feels. Um, yeah, just get a feel for it. But overall, feeling pretty excited. Pumped to be here. It is 5.46, about to get in a little practice swim to fill the water. I'm wearing my wetsuit shorts. We're still not sure if it's gonna be wetsuit legal or not, just depending on how, what the temp is gonna look like in the water. But here is where the swim is. It's pretty, it's actually really pretty here in the mountains. What was the water temp for that? Mary, show us what you got. That looked like, that was Lucy Charles Barkley, right? <laughs> well, now that Mary's way ahead of us, it makes me feel a lot less bad than swimming next to her. Yeah. Yeah. All right, it's time. That is not an actual bucket. Oh, yeah. I was like, table stake. I was like, damn, Bobby. I might save that. But you were definitely tempting that photo. Good morning. First night at the Airbnb was a success. I'm still actually a little tired. But yeah, it's actually kind of cloudy today, which is good. I'm hoping it like cools down the weather for tomorrow. Because tomorrow, well, not really the weather, I guess it cools down the water for tomorrow because it's still questionable as to whether or not the race is gonna be wetsuit legal. And to be honest, I need a wetsuit in order 
to not sink and die. So I'm really banking on using it and I'm going to no matter what. Obviously unless it's too hot then I can't. But today we're gonna actually go back to the Iron Man Village because a few people that are with us um, Bobby, Aiden, and then Chase got here. You guys met Chase in a previous video. They still have to check in. And we also want to go to one of the athlete briefings. So hopefully the weather holds up and it actually doesn't rain while we're out and about. And then later on today, maybe we'll get a bike ride or a run in just to kind of shake out the legs and get ready for tomorrow. You can tell that I'm in race mode because I had a dream about the race last night and that they had to cut it short and like split it into two days. So I'm clearly like that's where my head's at now, which is kind of fun, I guess, in a way. The dream wasn't fun. I was actually very disappointed. We're all getting ready now and then going to go to IHOP. We got to start carb loading today to get ready for tomorrow. Thank you, sir. My mom told me if I go to Fancy to find you here. I was like, oh, I better get. Can we get a booth instead? Hey, Bobby. Oh, hello, buddy. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, one nice turkey bacon. We oh. had the turkey bacon sample. That was me. I don't think so. No. I'm going to Fantastic race. We love coming to Happy Valley. And I want to give a shout out to the Happy Valley Adventure Bureau. You want to know anything about Happy Valley there? Trying to find my name. And there it is. It is way more packed here at the store today than it was yesterday. Now we're starting to get the race hype building and all the excitement around it all. It looks like we're like running a bike shop in here. Atta boy, pump it out. Oh yeah? <laughs> hey. hey, hey, hey. It's a pump party. All right, getting a little, getting a little practice ride in before tomorrow. Spin out the legs a little bit. Atta boy, let's go Bobby. Nice though, it just rained, so the weather feels nice. But hopefully, I would like for it to be like this tomorrow. It'd actually be pretty great. Look at these views. Not in Manhattan anymore, to say the least. I'm freaking pumped though. Got the stickers on, 549. I would say you guys should track me on the app, but this video is gonna come out after the race, so. Won't film much for the race either, obviously. I can't have a camera or anything on me. Fingers crossed we have a good one. Let's go, Mary! Setting up T1 for tomorrow. Got Mary, Mac. Look at these views though. We're gonna be swimming over there, coming in. And they're gonna bike out over there. Shake out. What mile? Yeah, what mile are you at today? I'd say 15 today. 15? <laughs> the day before the race? A little shake? A little shake? Feeling good? <laughs> All those are new? Um, yeah. Looking good, guys. Looking good. We'll end up Calm over. before the storm. Oh, no, so I just saw that I noticed there was a yeah. this, is, uh, this is the Last Supper. Everyone gather around, hold hands. <laughs> Calorie 150,000? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're gonna be hurting tomorrow on that bike. Come on, I wanna see it! Who's gonna carry the boats? Who? Who's gonna carry the boats in the logs? You did it! Yeah! Ready to carry the boats? <laughs> <laughs> Race morning, 4 a.m. How you feeling, Poppy? 
as good as you're gonna feel at 4 a.m. Well, this is like your nor- your normal morning. This is another day in the life. It starts now, buddy. <laughs> Chase now. does Chase does a half Ironman before he goes to work every morning. <laughs> Getting a little pre-morning caffeine in. I'm not gonna finish this whole thing. Well, I mean, we'll see what happens, but they're gonna make this carb drink, blow it up, waiting for this guy. They gotta get in the zone. They gotta get a bowel movement going. Dude, my bowel movement's like, <laughs> ready to go. <laughs> one more espresso shot. You're gonna fill these up, and then we'll take one more bottle for my arrow bottle, because I gotta carry that to the race, so that's not gonna be, it'll, it'll spill if I go ahead and put it in that bottle, so I gotta find another bottle to fill that up with. Probably just a water bottle? I don't know. Figure it out. And then we will head to T2 uh, at five o'clock, and then we take a shuttle to T1, where it all starts. So yeah, should be a fun morning. Oh yeah! Made it to T1, setting up our bikes. Gonna enter that water in about 45 minutes or so. First race morning. Feeling good. And obviously I can't film or anything during the race, so I will check in at the end. So hopefully the next time you see a clip, I will be in good spirits. That's, that's the only goal for this whole race. Just finished. Hey, uh, oh my God, is my car on? How you guys feeling? Survived. Obviously. Mary got like first place out Got the medal. Mary <laughs> won. Mary won the whole race. Yeah, but like, what is this medal? Penn State what Stadium. Pretty dope. I don't really have any words right now. I'm exhausted. Look how dope this finish line was. So you come running at the the tunnel, and you run all the way down here through the stadium. Pretty cool. Such a great finish. Here's the medal. It's pretty cool. It's like the mountains of Pennsylvania. Let's see. My total time. Maybe I can screenshot this and put it up. Total time was six hours, 35 minutes. Um, it was tough. The bike ride honestly beat me up a little bit. So did the run. But this is like honestly the perfect prep for Lake Placid. I'm so happy I did this. I felt really good on the swim. And um, after the swim, the swim was like what I was most nervous for. And as soon as I came out of the water, I felt like I could get back in and keep going. So I was really happy about that. I'm proud about that. But yeah, good race day. Now we have like a four hour ride back to New York City, which is gonna be just fun. Hi, baby. <laughs> Okay, good morning. I made it back home last night. I'm finally like able to think straight a little bit. I was a little out of it out after the race yesterday. I'm still a little tired if you can't tell. But don't worry, I got some Duncan. But yeah, I just wanted to do a quick little race recap, I guess, of how everything went. Overall, I'm happy with how the race went. I felt pretty confident throughout it all. It was a really hilly course on the bike ride, which I knew going into it. However, I feel like you never really know like what to expect until you actually get hit in the face with it. So, but yeah, overall it was a, it was a great course. I highly recommend it. Uh, if you're okay with climbing quite a bit on the bike, the swim was beautiful. We had great weather really all day yesterday. But the swim was great. It was a lake swim. The water was like really calm, which was really nice. And yeah, I did the swim in, let me see, 42 minutes and 41 seconds. So I felt pretty good with the swim. And you know, this whole race, I was really just trying to see how I felt to make sure I'm good to go for Lake Placid, which is like three less than three weeks out now. So I finished the swim and when I got out of the water in my head, I was thinking, okay, how do I feel if I had to go do that 
loop one more time. And I felt confident that I could do that. So I was really happy about that. And then T1 happened, got on the bike, and for the first probably like 20 miles, I felt great on the bike. Um, I felt, you know, I pushed it pretty hard. I think I may have pushed it a little too hard out the gate, but it's hard because you get so excited as soon as you get on the bike. But the views throughout the whole bike course were really pretty. Um, you're just surrounded by mountains, surrounded by these nice big fields in Pennsylvania. I've never seen so many Amish people in my life. At one point, I was riding the bike and I looked up and there was a horse and carriage in front of me that I had to go around. And there are these like this Amish family sitting in the back of the carriage, so I just waved at them. But it was definitely really interesting. It was an interesting bike ride. One of the climbs, uh, it was a huge climb. I don't know how much elevation was in that climb alone, uh, but it probably, it lasted probably, I'd say a mile or two. It was just basically straight up hill the whole time, but I felt strong on it, which I was really happy about. I will say though, at the end of the bike ride, the thought of having to do that whole thing again, which is basically what I'm gonna have to do for Lake Placid, it's a little intimidating, but I feel like when you probably go into a full Ironman, you just have a different mindset. So like you're just expecting it to be a lot longer, you know, you probably don't push as hard. Um, so that's just gonna be the mindset going into the bike for Lake Placid, I guess. But then on the run, I will say I struggled quite a bit. What I did is I ran the whole time, but at every hydration station, I stopped and poured a lot of water on me. I had a headband on, so I put ice in the headband. Um, so I would walk the whole hydration station and by the time I reached the end of it, I would just pick it back up again. But it was it was tough, you know, my quads started feeling like they were cramping up a little bit, quite a bit throughout the run. And I don't know if it's from doing a lot of the climbing on the bike and then at the very beginning of the run, it was like straight downhill. So that was that was a little rough, I will say. But it was cool. Everyone that we I did the race with, I saw everyone on the course at some point in time, which was awesome. And then Mackenzie, who I actually rode there with and back, um, I caught up to her when we had about three or four miles left on the run. So we just ran together the rest of the way just to kind of make it go by faster and have a little company. But it was really cool finishing the race and coming and running through Penn State's football stadium and running out onto the football field. It's an, it's an iconic uh, way to end a race, that's for sure. But just really quick, so my bike split was three hours and 30 minutes, um, and then my run was two hours and 10 minutes. The run, yeah, the run kicked my ass, I will say. My average pace for the run was 10.07 minute miles, so. But overall, I, I felt good, and I'm definitely a little sore today, but I'm not, it's not like anything crazy. And yeah, so now I just have three weeks until Lake Placid. I am excited for Lake Placid, though. I met a few people at Penn State that are also doing uh, Lake Placid. So, and from what I heard from everyone, it was literally the perfect race to do right before Lake Placid. So I'm happy about that. So yeah, that's it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Obviously it's, it sucks that I can't get a lot of race footage itself just because you can't really film during the race and you don't really want to. You want to just take it in. Don't worry about filming or anything like that. But um, yeah, overall great race. And uh, back to training tomorrow. We got to finish strong because we're so close to Lake Placid. And I, I just want to make sure I, I continue to feel good and carry this confidence over into the right, next race. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.